Let's paint some flesh molders. This is part of my Descent speed painting series. If you have not seen the rest of the videos, they are linked in the eye in the top right hand corner. We're also gonna do Lord Merrick Faro because we're gonna use some similar colors on him. So how these guys are sitting on the base with the cloaks and the wispy whatevers and the feet, uh, I'm a little nervous about trying to finish out the bases after I paint them. So we're gonna go ahead and just do the top layer right now with a uh, Vallejo model color black. If the primer in these guys looks funny, it's because I had to do brush priming. I'm almost out of Corex white and I'm saving it for Zenithal priming. And I went to my friendly local game store and they're out of white primer. So I picked up some game color Arctic white and brushed that on the Vallejo game color series. You can use that as a brush on primer and it has been successful for me in the past. So this is Dwarf Flesh. It's an old Citadel paint. And, uh, well, let me tell you why I'm using this. Let's ramble about paint here for a minute. So if you've watched my past videos, you'll know that uh, for flesh, I've been using the Army Painter Barbarian Flesh. And that is because my very first paint set was the Army Painter Starter Set. And that was the flesh stone that came in it. Now, uh, the Army Painter Starter Set was a great starter set. The price was good. I got a good brush and a good range of paint. I got no regrets. But... Um, Army Painter paint is inexpensive and the reason why it's inexpensive is because the quality of the paint is not up to the quality of some other paint lines. Um, again, for the price you're paying, it's good paint, but some of the colors have poor coverage. Um, and some of the colors, the coverage is uh, sketchy based on the particular bottle you have. Uh, I have a sketchy red, a friend of mine has a red that's fine. Um, and my Barbarian Flash is one of those that it was all right, but it would take quite a few coats to get a good coverage, even over white. So about a year and a half ago, I was at a convention with a convention buddy of mine, and we were talking about painting and models, and he let me know that he used to have a game store, and he had some leftover product, and he'd send me some. And I said, great. And then I forgot about it. And then a month later, I was playing board games with his brother, who lives in the same state as me, and he handed me a whole box full of old Citadel paint. And uh, I forgot I had this Barbarian Flesh, so I pulled it out and tried it today to see if it did, uh, I'm sorry, Dwarf Flesh, to see if it was better than Barbarian Flesh, and it was much better. It has great coverage, and the paint was wonderful. So, yay for me. You might be saying, good for you, Josh. Um, you have this old Citadel paint that is great, but I can't get that because that Citadel is like first generation Citadel paint. They don't make that anymore. Well, here's the thing. Uh, the company that made this paint for Games Workshop is still making this paint. Um, the company is called uh, Coat of Arms. I'll spell it. They spell it funny. I'll put it down the thing. And uh, they still make this paint and you can still buy this paint. A lot of it has the same names, and um, I was able to find an American distributor. I haven't bought any of it, but uh, I might replace some of this old set old paint when it runs out with the modern coat of arms equivalent that is the same paint in the same colors, and they use many of the same names. So if you wanted to, you could get this dwarf flesh. Also worth noting, the same way that Citadel has their colors and triads for base and um, layer and edge highlighting and that kind of stuff, the Coat of Arms also has it in the same way. This was all the time I had for this morning. If you hobbied this morning and made a video, please link it in the comments below. I'd love to take a look at it. If you want to see the other videos in this series, click the I in the top right hand corner. Tomorrow, we're going to finish off the flush on these guys and start laying down the base colors for the clothing and then the little magical thing up top will I got a fun little idea for that so until then have a good one